Good day, girls. This is Teacher Felisa. Welcome to your grammar lesson. Please be ready with your book, your pen, and your notebook. Our lesson for today is on noun clauses. It is on your LC book, pages 254 to 255. At the end of this discussion, you are expected to review dependent and independent clause, characterize a noun clause, and identify the uses of noun clauses. Now, what is a noun clause? But before that, let's have first a review on your dependent and independent clause. A dependent clause class is a phrase containing a subject and a verb that does not express a complete thought, okay? That is your dependent. That is why it is called dependent. You are still depending to your independent clause. So, therefore, your independent clause can stand alone, okay? Now, what is a noun clause? A noun clause is a dependent clause, okay? In an entire clause which takes the place of a noun in another clause or phrase. Like a noun, a noun clause acts as the subject or object of a verb or the object of a preposition answering the questions whom, who, or what. Okay, let's take this example. I demand that they be here. Okay, so the words that they be here are the noun clause, object of the main verb, demand, okay? That they be here is what we call your dependent or your noun clause. It cannot stand alone. Now, we have four uses of your noun clause. First one is, it is used as a subject, okay? Let's take this example. Whoever is here will see the lecture. Next example, what I had forgotten was that I had homework to do. Now, what have you noticed on these two sentences? Your noun clause can be found at the beginning of the sentence, okay? So, the noun clause here functions as the subject of the sentence. It performs the action of the verb. It is the subject. Second use of your noun clause is as a di direct object, okay? Example, the paleontologist writes what he knows, okay? Now here, the noun clause answers the question who or what. It is your basis in your direct object. When we say direct object, it answers the question who or what, okay? Say, for example, what does the paleontologist write, okay? The paleontologist writes what he knows. Next, during gym class, Emily likes to play whatever sports she can. Okay, question. What does Emily like to play after or during gym class? Whatever sports she can. So it answers the question what. So it is used as your direct or direct object. Next use of your noun clause is the object of a preposition. One of the easiest to identify because of the preposition. Here, the noun clause completes the meaning of the prepositional phrase. Example, give this book to whomever you choose, okay? Whomever you choose is, is your noun clause. Why? Why is it called object of the preposition? Because you have the word to. To is your preposition. So, whomever you choose is object of the preposition noun clause. Next, I'll take a ride from whoever can pick me up. Whoever can pick me up is your noun clause. And your preposition is from. So, it is object of the preposition. And the last use of your noun clause is as a predicate noun. Example, his love of travel is why he explored. Okay, next, the truth was that he forgot to hand in his final assignment. Now, the noun clause completes the meaning of the verb and refers back to the subject. Take note of this. It refers back 
to the subject or gives more information about the subject. You look at this. The truth was that he forgot to hand in his final assignment. What is the truth? That he forgot to hand in his final assignment. So the underlying clause here refers back to the truth. That is why it is called predicate noun. Let's have a practice. Underline the noun clause in each sentence or tell the noun clause in each sentence. Number one, our baby brother is excited about whatever we give him. Where is your noun clause? Whatever we give him. Next, the scientists discovered where the dinosaur bones were hidden. Okay, where the dinosaur bones were hidden. Next, Whatever the paleontologist found was of great interest to her colleagues. Okay, whatever the paleontologist found. And next, explain how the dinosaur was found. How the dinosaur was found. Okay, notice that these underlined words are your noun clauses. And your noun clauses is introduced with or introduced by a subordinating conjunction whatever where whatever how okay now we have four uses of your noun clause first one is it is used as a subject okay let's take this example whoever is here will see the lecture next example Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening.